please rise for the prayer, pledge of allegiance, mission statement, and lift every voice and sing. I will lead the prayer. Heavenly Father, surround those of us who are graduating with your grace. Bless us with hope so that we move into the future with eager and open hearts. Help us to put the knowledge, skills, and insights gained through our education to use for the good of all humankind. Inspire us to believe in the goodness of life, even when faced with challenges and difficulties. As we commence with our lives, may we grow ever more grateful and wise. All of this we ask in the name of your Son, Jesus Christ. Amen. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, in liberty with justice for all. Hi. My name is Jayla Watkins, and today I will be presenting Holy Family Ministries mission. We provide opportunities for children and adults from Chicago's undeserved neighborhoods to excel academically, grow spiritually, expand life experience, and become effective leaders. Now join me in a mission statement. With great dedication, we the students and staff of Holy Family School, faithfully commit ourselves to experience spiritual growth and to develop Christian values, to acquire knowledge and create a positive vision for our future, to obtain quality education for life, to build our self-esteem, to identify personal purpose and meaning, to do God's work and accomplish miracles, and to be the best we can be each and every day. Hello, Holy Family and all his angels. Congratulations to the class of 2020. You guys did it. You made it out. And despite the world around us, you all still have reason to celebrate because today is your graduation day. So know that I love each and every single one of you guys from the bottom of my heart. And I ask that we all begin to prepare our hearts to sing the Negro National Anthem, Lift Every Voice and Sing. Lift every voice and sing Till earth and heaven ring Ring with the harmonies Of liberty Let our rejoicing Rise high as the lift has brought us facing the rising sun of our new day begun let us march on till victory is won stony the road
thank you, Pastor Hunter and Mrs. Collier for helping us make adjustments. I apologize for the delay and I apologize even more for the fact that our audio wasn't working, flipping back and forth between screens. But I do have to say welcome to everyone who is joining us today. Welcome to the 2020 eighth grade graduation for Holy Family School. We are excited and pleased to applaud the accomplishments of our outstanding students as they begin this new journey into life's pathways. Before we begin, I'd like to acknowledge a few key individuals. Holy Family Ministry CEO, Mrs. Cheryl Collins. <laughs> Assistant Principal and Pre-K teacher to most of you eighth graders, Mrs. Sheila Collier. <laughs> eighth grade counselor, Reverend Ronald Martin. School chaplain, Mr. Leslie Hunter. Our guest speaker, Dr. Nicholas Pierce. <laughs> All of our eighth grade teachers, Mr. Jamie Lambert, Ms. Shadon Vernon, Mr. Scott Swisher, Mr. Donald Shanahan, Mr. James Humphreys, Mr. Joseph Stokes, Ms. Jerrica Henderson, Mr. Brett Bravo, and Ms. Kiana Harris. I would also like to thank our dedicated K through seventh grade teaching staff for your tremendous hard work and service to all of our students, especially during this time. To our custodians who work day in and day out keeping our school beautiful and are now preparing our schools for a return in the fall, thank you. I would like to thank the chairman of the board of Holy Family Ministries, Mr. Dan Bedovanak, and all members of the HFM board. Special thank you to Mr. Humphreys and Mr. Shanahan for navigating this new tech world that we've been trying to get through. Parents, families, friends, everyone who is chiming in to cheer on our eighth graders, thank you for being here and thank you for being such a supportive family around our students. Today, we celebrate with and say farewell to our eighth grade students. This has not been the end of the school year we envisioned, nor is this the way we plan to celebrate. But in the past months, there has been so much that you have witnessed and overcome. Recently, I had a parent remind me that 2020 means perfect vision. Each of you is God's perfect vision. You, are, you have overcome obstacles and shown your resilience and determination. You are written in history. As you leave Holy Family, you are continuing to write your story. Do not let false narratives, the media, or anyone else define you. This is the beginning of your story. Continue to be ambassadors of Christ. Lead by example and do so with integrity. You are destined for greatness and are all go-getters. Always remember you have a responsibility to make the world a better place. Change begins with you. We know that your chosen high schools will be better because you will be there. Your potential is unlimited. We expect nothing less than your best and look forward to hearing about all of your accomplishments. Never forget that once a Holy Family student, always a member of the family. Congratulations. With that, I'd like to welcome up CEO, Mrs. Cheryl Collins. <laughs> Thank you so much, Dr. Smith. Good afternoon, everyone. Good afternoon. I am Cheryl Collins, Chief Executive Officer for Holy Family Ministries. I want to thank our Board of Directors for continuing to support our students, families, and staff. I also want to thank our donor community for prayers and donations of every sort. We have formulas, diapers, crayons and gift cards delivered here and they're still coming in. Thank you so much. I want to thank the staff of Holy Family School led by Principal Dr. Candace Smith for learning new skills on how to teach remotely and for doing everything in their power to meet the needs of our families. And I would be remiss if I didn't say thank you parents. We really appreciate all that you've done in raising these fine graduates and for choosing Holy Family to partner with during these formative years. Graduates, 
I feel sad that we're not here together in person. And I know you're even sadder than I am. You deserve to be applauded long and loud. So family members, whatever you're doing right now, just stop doing it. Stand up, everybody stand up. My audience over here stand up too. Mm -hmm. I want you all to pretend that you are here and holy family in our gym room. And on the count of three, when I say go, I want you to just shout, that's my baby. Just like you would have done if you were here in the gym. <laughs> Ready? One, two, three. Let's hear some names. That's my baby. <laughs> You know, I, I actually could hear you all the way from your house. It's on the west side and south side of Chicago. Good job. Good job, families. Students, you'll have many other events to celebrate. Your first homecoming dance in high school. Your first induction into a National Honor Society. Your first three-point shot at the winning basketball game junior and senior proms, high school and college graduations. However, it still really doesn't remove the sting of not being here, does it? And we know that. We miss you. We miss celebrating with you. But let's remember, you are the students who will be able to say that you lived through a historic moment in time called the coronavirus, or Rona, as we call her in the hood, and if you can make it through Rona, you can make it through anything. Today, you join a group, what I mentally refer to as our potential superheroes. That group is the Holy Family Alumni Group. You are now alum, and you have the power and the potential to do some amazing things. As alumni, we're gonna need your help. Many of our alum have become mentors, donors, volunteers, and even board members. Please come back when you are able to and offer help in any way that you can. You are a go-getter. You are made of special stuff because God made you unique and unrepeatable. He formed you with his mighty hand for a reason and for a special purpose. Never forget that. And let our go-getter song remain in your heart wherever you go. Never give up on your dreams, your hopes, your plans, and your desires, because they are from God, and he placed them in you to help you achieve your true purpose. Dare to be different. Ralph Waldo Emerson said, envy is ignorance, imitation is suicide. Just be yourself, you are enough. Work to develop your talents and your skills throughout life. Then become part of the solution that our country needs to bring justice, and hope, restoration, intelligence, peace, and love into our world. We're counting on you, class of 2020. Go boldly and change the world. God bless. All right. I'd like to take this time to acknowledge two wonderful individuals who have been with Holy Family for 10 years. Both of these women taught me the, the importance of being a member of the family here at Holy Family. So I'd like to take this moment to applaud Ms. Joan Lamb and Ms. Teresa Moore for their 10 years of service. Well, it takes a lot to be a dedicated educator and this educator in particular has committed 10 years here at Holy Family. She has one of the biggest hearts of any teacher I've ever met. She goes over and beyond for her students and families. She has taught me what it means to be a member here at Holy Family. She is Holy Family. So today we would like to congratulate Joan Lamb on 10 years. <laughs> Thank, thank you. you, and thank you for being a great guy, oh. and I love all the support. I mean, 
mean, again, we're family. We love you. Hi, Holly family. This is Mrs. Spencer, the director of Early Learning for Little Learners Academy. We wanted to surprise Miss Moore today, our fabulous employee that has been here for 10 years. All of her service and dedication has paid off. We love you. We are so thankful to have such a person who started off as a parent and now an employee as a family support <laughs> person on our on our uh, LLA team. So we love you. We thank you. We congratulate you. <laughs> thank you. This is for you. I would like to announce our salutatorian for the 2020 school year. She is a strong, resilient student who is always kind to everyone, sets goals, achieves them, and pushes herself. She puts her all into everything she does. Let's give a round of applause to Kalei Thompson. My name is Kalei Thompson, and I'm the salutatorian for the class of 2020. First and foremost, I would like to say thank you for joining our eighth grade class of 2020 graduation. Thank you to the parents, board members, staff, and mentors of Holy Family. I appreciate all the time that you have provided to help us through this year. I know things have gotten tough towards the end, but we made it. This year has shown us that we are strong individuals and able to overcome anything that may come our way. I hope everyone is feeling very accomplished because we finally finished the year off very strong, even though it was different. But we all have accomplished our goals and moving on to another chapter in our life. I want to thank Holy Family for all the opportunities they have provided during this time. Even though this eighth grade year has turned out very different from the rest, the staff has made sure they had something for us to always remember. I also want to thank my parents for always being by my side and helping me overcome every obstacle with me. Because there were so many very, there were some very upsetting and crying nights, but that was motivated to me to push myself and make me go harder. It has shown me that they really care and want the best for me and want to see me excel and grow in my future. Their daily words pushed me to be where I am today and to continue to succeed to, to my, <laughs> my next journey to my next journey to high school. This school year, we had many good memories. My favorite memory was when we went to Lake Geneva and all the girls wore onesies. This was a time of building friendships and better understanding each other. What makes my class very special is that we've managed difficult situations and learned from each other through these times, which made us all have a stronger bond with one another. What I have learned is that even though we may have distinct groups of friends, we still find a way to socialize with everyone and work together as a team. Another exciting experience that I will always remember and cherish is the connection that I had with Miss Con Connor. She's an adult that has taught us how to be a strong individual, not just as a man or a woman, but to be firm in my belief, especially at a time like this that we are facing. Also having the support from all my teachers to continue to push me through a lot of challenging times. As we go through our next four years of school, remember this quote, don't let what you can't do stop you from doing what you can do. We will have some tough moments, but remember to never let that stop you from moving forward and striving for the best. We are all determined and will do our best no matter what. We have to remember that we are all strong individuals and everything in life will not be easy, but we have to keep the faith and move forward. Thank you. I'm going to announce our honor roll students. I'm going to be starting with our B honor roll. Students must have a minimum grade point average of 3.0 to make the B honor roll and no D or F marks. Students cannot have any disciplinary referrals for the fourth quarter, which this quarter should have been pretty easy. The following students may be honor roll for fourth quarter. Marianne Crockett. Terrence Johnson, Woo! Michaela Rockford, 
Tamia Rogers, Natasia Ward, Jayla Watkins, James Williams. Our A honor roll is for students with a grade point average of 3.75 or higher. Again, no behavior for referrals, which should have been pretty easy. The following students achieved A honor roll. Deshaun Jackson, <laughs> Malia Lucas, Kalei Thompson, and straight A's for fourth quarter, Kevin Watson. Congratulations to our honor roll students. Way to go, keep up that good work. And now I'd like to welcome up Miss Sheila Collier. Hello everyone. This part in our graduation ceremony, we're going to acknowledge our parents that have kept their students here for as long as since preschool. That's right, preschool, which means a lot to me because this was my first grade preschool classroom. So, Ms. Shaw, James Williams, he's been in our building since preschool. Congratulations. <laughs> Mr. and Mrs. Watson, Heaven Watson, she's been in our building since preschool. Michaela Rockford, she tricked us. She got in at three. Congratulations. <laughs> Mrs. Knight, Heaven Preston. Congratulations, preschool. <laughs> Mrs. Thornton, Malia Lucas, mom. You've been in our building since preschool. Congratulations. And Natasia Ward, she's been in our building since kindergarten. Congratulations. Thank you, parents, for allowing us to educate your students for as long as you have will always have a place in my heart. Thank you. Our valedictorian is one of the original students in Ms. Collier's preschool class. This particular student worked hard, sets goals, and challenges herself in everything she does. I would like to present the eighth grade graduation class 2020's valedictorian, Heaven Watson. Good afternoon, my name is Heaven Watson and I am honored to address my fellow graduates. I would like to thank the board members and donors for continuing to support our school. I would also like to thank the parents for supporting each of us in our own educational journey so far. Finally, I want to thank the faculty and staff for pushing us to become the best that we can be. I would like to start by saying that I appreciate the time that I've spent here at Holy Family it has been a home and will always be a home for my classmates and I. As a class, we have gone through all the stages of growing up into the young adults we will be one day. We have experienced the ups and downs as a family and will always be something special to one another. We may have not been able to be physically together during this time, but we are here to celebrate ourselves for our accomplishments. We have worked hard and will continue to work hard with the support of our families, friends, teachers, mentors, because of course, we didn't get here all on our own. I have been here at Holy Family my entire academic career. I feel like I am leaving a piece of me behind here. I started in preschool like some of my classmates did and stuck around until our final year. Even though I spent one fourth of the year on my computer attending school virtually. I don't necessarily remember my first day, but I do remember the way I felt. I remember being so confused, moving from a daycare to a new school and it was a surreal experience, but I also felt welcome and I hoped that I would be here for a while. I am so, my mother had already enrolled my big sister in and holy family, and now it was my turn. I am so glad she enrolled me. She chose the school so that I would not have to go through what she went through as a child. That is being stuck at her neighborhood school. That wasn't the best place for her. She didn't want that for me because she saw potential in me and felt like I should be given the chance to use it to its full extent. Every staff member here is kind and caring. A special shout out to Mrs. Collier, who's my first teacher when I was in preschool, along with Mrs. Rogers. It is easy, it is easy to make friends here at Holy Family. Whether or not you were in the same classroom or not, we talk to each other and support each other. My friends and I spent the most time together during the summer at camp even made new friends who didn't go to the school. In third grade, I accomplished something great. 
I gave my first speech at a benefit dinner. I was the first third grader to do it. And it meant a lot because I couldn't have done it without the help of Ms. Collins and the entire student body. As time went on, I was involved with a lot of activities such as sports, student council, and competitive dance. I gave lots of tours and tried my best to make a good impression as I shared the love that I have for Holy Family to many guests and donors. Now I know this speech is running along, but for this last segment, I would like to talk to my classmates personally. I appreciate every single one of you for helping me become the person that I am today. I appreciate, I learned to be more social, a team player, a helper, a leader, and a motivator. I believe all of us will make it very far in life because as Martin Luther King Jr. said, out of the mountain of despair, a stone of hope. We are the future because we can change the world. This generation will change the world and it starts with us. I know it's a lot of pressure. I mean, even writing this speech feels like a lot of pressure, but I'm telling the truth. We will change this world for the better because we have the power to. No obstacle or limitation can stop us from doing it because just like space is infinite, so are our minds. I believe in us because I know from experience that we have this handled as the peacemakers and life changers of our generation. We are go-getters. Congratulations, fellow graduates. Good afternoon, everyone. This poem by Khalil Gibran is dedicated to your parents. Your children are not your children. They are the sons and daughters of life's longing for itself. They come through you, but not from you. And though they are with you, yet they belong not to you. You may give them your love, but not your thoughts, for they have their own thoughts. You may house their bodies, but not their souls. For their souls dwell in a house of tomorrow, which you cannot visit, not even in your dreams. You may strive to be like them, but seek not to make them like you. For life goes not backward, nor tarries with yesterday. You are the bowls from which your children as living arrows are sent forth. The archer sees the mark upon the path of the infinite, and he bends you with his might that his arrows may go swift and far. Let your bending in the archer's hand be for gladness. For even as he loves the arrow that flies, so he loves also the bow that is stable. And you are the bow's parents. Next, we'll have the introduction of our guest speaker by our very own CEO, Mrs. Cheryl Collins. Jeremiah chapter 29, verse 11 through 13. For I know the plans I have for you, declares the Lord, plans to prosper you and not to harm you, plans to give you hope and a future. Then you will call on me and come and pray to me, and I will listen to you. You will seek me and find me when you seek me with all your heart. Good afternoon. My name is Ashari West, and I have been attending Holy Family School since the fourth grade. It is my pleasure to introduce our graduation speaker, Dr. Nicholas Pierce. Dr. Pierce is clearly a very smart man. He has a degree from MIT in chemical engineering, several degrees from Harvard University in business and in divinity, and a doctorate degree from the Northwestern University in management. Along with being smart, Dr. Pierce is a man of God. He is an ordained minister and has been the assistant pastor at the Apostolic Church of God in Chicago for over eight years. He currently works as a professor at Northwestern University and has founded his own company, The Volpity Group, where he consults with business people over six continents to help them develop their organizations. He is the author of the book, The Purpose Path. Thank you, Dr. Pierce, for taking the time to autograph the books of the graduates. We really appreciate that. It has been said that Dr. Pierce is one of the most influential voices of his generation. Let's listen and find out why. Ladies and gentlemen, I present to you Dr. Nicholas Pierce.
thank you, Ms. Collins, and to all of you who are gathered together around the virtual graduation room today. It is truly a joy to be with you uh, to celebrate this graduation day. Uh, I want to say first and foremost, congratulations to all of the educators. And when I say educators, I mean that broadly. Uh, educators are not only those who are teaching in classrooms, but they're also school leaders counselors and mentors and others who provide education. Uh, parents are certainly our very first educators. And so when I say congratulations to the educators, I mean to everyone who has played a role in the development of our graduates. I also want to congratulate the families uh, because we know that graduating any level is a family affair. That's right. uh, nobody makes it on their own. And so I wanna give you all an opportunity as you're joining us virtually from home or wherever you might be to take a moment and congratulate the families uh, of the graduates. I also wanna congratulate the graduates. Uh, and this at a certain level goes without saying, today is your day and it's not the day that you envisioned. This is not the day that you plan for. You did not plan to be graduating from home. Uh, just like mom and dad and aunties and uncles did not plan to work from home. Uh, but we're all doing what we can uh, to make the best of the moment. And I must confess that today truly is your day. And so we truly celebrate the graduating class of 2020 uh, for all of your achievements and all of your accomplishments. Uh, on a day like today, uh, we recognize for sure that you, in order to have graduated, have overcome a lot. You have overcome a great deal. Uh, many of you all come from the west side of Chicago. Many come from the south side. And I am also a native of the south side of Chicago. And graduating uh, on a day like today is truly a marker that helps us recognize that we've had to overcome a lot. Now, normally, uh, when we graduate, we receive a diploma and that diploma certifies that we have attained a certain level of academic achievement, that we have mastered the content of our classes at a certain level. Uh, it means that through all the mathematics and the science and the study of, hu of human history, the study of world history, uh, the study of the arts and sciences, all of these things uh, have come together to make us sharper people. And in receiving our diplomas, we are receiving an official certification that we know something. That's, that's important. Right. However, today, uh, the, the receiving of your diploma means something even greater. Uh, it's not just about whether or not you learn science or math. It's not just about how much literacy skill you are carrying with you going forward. Uh, because right now, the entire world finds itself in the midst of a pandemic. And that's a, a word that we have heard a lot lately, uh, but really it truly means that everybody is being impacted. Uh, it's not just a few people. Uh, COVID-19, the novel coronavirus, has literally changed everything. Nothing is the same as it was this time last year. None of us could have imagined that you'd be graduating from home. And around the world, hundreds of thousands of people have unfortunately lost their lives and livelihoods in this terrible, terrible pandemic. And we know that many of the families of our graduates have truly been impacted in one way or another, whether it is the fact that you lost a loved one, whether it's the fact that someone in your family lost a job or lost touch with another family member. Perhaps it is that you have a grandmother or a grandfather who lives in an assisted living facility or a nursing home, and you're not able to be with them in the way that you would like to be. Perhaps it is you have family members around the country who you're not able to visit, uh, and you have to maintain social distance when you get together with your family members. Yet, through all of that, you're a graduate. You're a graduate of the class of 2020, and because you are graduating now, it means that you've had to overcome some things that no other graduating class in contemporary history has had to overcome. You have the unique designation of being an overcomer. It means that you have been resilient. 
because you left school the last day you were here, not knowing when you would be able to come back. And you did not know when you'd see your teachers again. You didn't know when you'd see your uh, classmates again. You had no clue what was getting ready to come next. And even though the coronavirus has dealt us a lot of blows, you have bounced back. You're resilient. And that resilience is a skill that's going to carry you a lot further in the course of your life. It also means you're adaptable. And as Ms. Collins mentioned, uh, I teach at Northwestern University. And I, like your teachers here, uh, are often most comfortable in a physical classroom talking to students they can see. However, it is also true that students tend to like a physical classroom where they can be with each other and with their teachers. And you all were forced out of a physical classroom to learning online, to learning from home, to learning whatever way you could remotely. And so you're adaptable. Uh, there's a, a quote that I've heard many times that says, blessed are the flexible, for they shall not be bent out of shape. Come on. And truly, you all have proven that you are flexible and you're to be commended for that. You all have not just received a regular diploma, you've received a COVID-19 diploma that proves that you are flexible. But last, but certainly not least, it also proves that you have something in you that many others don't need to have when they're graduating from school. It's not just about resilience and adaptability. It means that you have survived a global pandemic in order to achieve what you've achieved today. Some of you all are the first individuals in your immediate households to graduate. And that's a, that's a real accomplishment. Others of you are going to be the first among your siblings to graduate. That's also an accomplishment. But I want you to not lose sight of the fact that what has literally killed other people, you have survived. And the fact that you have survived is so important. So this leads me to the last thing I'd like to share with you all. Because today, you're not only receiving a diploma to acknowledge your academic achievement, which is amazing. And I understand that uh, one of you is going to be going to my alma mater, Whitney Young Magnet High School. So congratulations, Kevin, for becoming a dolphin. Welcome to the family. Uh, it's where I met my wife on the first day of seventh grade. But in addition to your academic achievement, and in addition to the fact that you have survived COVID-19, I speak to you all as an African-American graduating class. Because you all have not only survived COVID-19, you've survived what many are calling COVID-1619. And what this is, is a, a throwback or a shout out, uh, sadly, to the year 1619. Now, I know some of you all might not have been paying that close attention in history class, so I'm going to run it back real quick. 1619 was the year that the first slave ships arrived at Jamestown, Virginia, with African slaves on them. And through the intervening 400 years since 1619, and certainly today as we, as a society, have found ourselves wrestling with the, the pandemic of racism in the wake of the death, the murder, the lynching of George Floyd, Breonna Taylor, and countless others whose hashtags have unfortunately fallen from our consciousness. The fact that you are graduating today means that you have survived COVID-1619. You are a black achiever. You are someone who is at the beginning of a life full of meaning and significance. So many young black individuals around this city of Chicago and around the world are asked, what do you want to be when you grow up? And so many say, I just want to be alive. And the sad reality is life is not promised to any of us, especially in this COVID-16, 19 pandemic. But the good news is that today is a commencement day and commencement is not an ending. Commencement is a beginning. This is a launching pad. This is not a finish line. Uh, yes, we celebrate your accomplishments to this point. Yes, you will receive your diploma and be sent to your next school, your next educational institution. But this is not a finish line. This is really a starting line for the rest of your life. This is a launching pad. And so today we celebrate not just your academic achievement, not just the fact that you have survived a global pandemic, but that you are now being tasked with the responsibility to take the skills 
and the insights and the opportunities that are afforded you to be of service to humanity. Each and every one of you has been created by God with a purpose. That means that there's a reason why you're alive. No matter what your mom or dad or somebody else told you about you're an accident, the reality is you are alive on purpose. You have meaning, you have a reason to live, and we are counting on you to not just look for how you can secure the bag and stack coins, we're looking for you to make a difference. We're investing in you, we are counting on you, we are cheering for you, and we'll stand beside you. So congratulations, class of 2020, the world is waiting for you. God bless you. Congratulations, Holy Family graduates. My name is Dr. Susan Work, and I'm the CEO Emeritus of Holy Family Ministries. Some of you I knew before I retired, and some of you I've never met, but no matter which way it goes, I extend the warmest congratulations to each and every one of you for the hard work that you put in to get to this celebration tonight. Every year for many years, we've had scholarship funds donated by two generous donors. These scholarships are intended for those of you who want to go to private schools, but for whom the tuition might be a barrier. Those donors are Reverend and Mrs. Glenn Gronland, who live in Ohio. They go back with us to the very beginning of Holy Family School and the Crown Family of Chicago giving through North Shore Teens Making a Difference. You've never met them, they've never met you, but I guarantee you they have your best interest at heart and want you to have every opportunity. So say a prayer of thanks for them tonight, and if you get a chance, drop them a note of thanks. They would really love to hear from you. And now we'll announce the award winners for 2020. Hello, this is John Palmer. I'm the Vice Chairman of the Board of Holy Family Ministries and a part of the High School Scholarship Committee. And I'm excited to tell you about our five graduates who will be receiving scholarships to help them attend private high schools next year. First is Dwight Williams, who has chosen Chicago Hope Academy as his high school. Second, Freddie Wood, who is also going to be attending Chicago Hope, will receive a scholarship. Siriana Williams, uh, will be attending Christ the King High School. James Williams will be attending Holy Trinity High School. And lastly, Deshaun Jackson will be receiving a scholarship to attend Chicago Hope Academy. Congratulations to all five of you. We're very proud of you and look forward to hearing about your success. And now it's time for our graduates of 2020 from Holy Family Lutheran School. Our first graduate will be attending Rauner College Prep in the fall. Marion Crockett. Our next graduate will be attending Chicago Hope Academy in the fall, Deshaun Jackson. And our next graduate will be going to Chicago Bulls College Prep in the fall, Terrence Johnson. and attending George Westinghouse College Prep in the fall, Malia Lucas. Attending Harold L. Richards High School in the fall, Trinity McBee. Our next graduate will be going to Chicago Bulls College Prep next year, Heaven Preston. Attending Richard T. Crane Medical Prep High School in the fall, Michaela Rockford. Our next graduate will be going to Bulls College Prep this fall, Tamia Rogers. Attending the Noble Academy, Danny Ross.
this year's salutatorian will be going to Chicago Hope Academy High School in the fall, Kalei Thompson. Attending Chicago Bulls College Prep, Mashari Tubbs. Our next graduate will be attending Intrinsic School Downtown Center, Natasha Ward. This year's valedictorian will be attending Whitney Young Magnet High School, Heaven Watson. And our next graduate will be attending the Ogden International School of Chicago in the fall, Jayla Watkins. Our next graduate will be attending Richard T. Crane Medical Prep High School, Ashari West. Attending Walter Christian Academy, Dwight Williams. Attending Holy Trinity High School next year, James Williams. Attending Christ the King Jesuit College Prep High School in the fall, Siriana Williams. Attending Chicago Hope Academy High School, Freddie Woods. God is good. All the time. God is good. All the time. And all the time. God is good. Somebody say amen. amen. Even for such a time as this, God is still good. And um, thank you for hanging in there with us. Uh, a wise man just said, blessed are the flexible. Yeah. Amen. But they will not be bent out of shape. Give it up one more time for Dr. Pierce and that good word. And thank you for being flexible. Thank you for just hanging on in there. God's going to still do what God's going to do. Amen? Amen. So receive the benediction. And let me say this before I do that. Um, there will be a presentation of the graduates. So don't go away just yet as we receive the benediction. The Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord make his face shine on you and be gracious to you. The Lord look upon you with favor and give you his peace. In the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit, go in peace and serve the Lord. Thanks be to God. Get the Lord a hand, praise. Holy Family Ministry School Board, CEO, Mrs. Collins, Holy Family staff, students, Parents, families, and everyone watching, I now present the class of 2020 graduates. Congratulations. Hey there, eighth grade. How you doing? This is Mr. Shanahan. I just wanted to give you folks some well wishes and kind of record a little message for when it comes to graduation. I know we can't be together in person and even in this social distancing here, I'm sitting on a stairway away from my kids because it's the quietest place in my house to get that sort of peace for this sort of thing. Um, first and foremost, thank you. Thank you so much for this past school year, welcoming me uh, to this team and to this school. Um, I hope it served you well. I hope it was a good socialized teacher for you. Um, I valued the time we had uh, meeting new people and learning about new folks. Uh, you've all endlessly impressed me with what you guys can do and the potential of what you are. Um, you will all move on to do great things because you've come this far and you've done these right things in Holy Family. You've done right by yourself to make the choices you've made and the family and the people that have supported you to get to this far. Um, four more years. This future is great when it comes to high school. Uh, earn that time. Use that time. Do good by it. I know this social distancing might not make it the best freshman year in the whole wide world because we don't know where this is going, but um, that doesn't mean you can't move, you can't grow, and you can't become great in knowledge. So my well wishes to you are make the best of this, earn this, uh, be a difference maker for it. I mean, this is quite a change and then switch to a school year. You guys are part of that bubble and part of that change to kind of improve the place you have, um, make the improvements we can to make some changes we can. You are that generation that can and will. 
um, and I'm just an old folk along for the ride with it. So um, the last thing I kind of wanted to kind of offer to you here quick was um, I saw a, a graduate's prayer uh, on, on kind of a search here, and I, and I dug it, so I kind of wanted to read it to you. So in closing, this is a graduate's prayer. Father, I have knowledge, so will you show me how to use it wisely and find a way somehow to make the world I live in a little better place and make life with its problems a bit easier to face? Grant me faith and courage and put purpose in my days and show me how to save thee and serve thee in the most effective ways. So all my education, my knowledge, and my skill may find their true fulfillment as I learn to do thy will. And may I ever be aware in everything I do that knowledge comes from learning and wisdom comes from you. Eighth grade, light the world on fire, man. Have a good summer. Have a good next year. Have a good next four years. Um, the old adage that most teachers you'll hear talk about is once you're my student, you're always my student. If you ever need to find me, you got me. You have my email, you have my phone number, uh, any reference, anything you need in the whole wide world. Uh, you've got me and everybody else on this team take care of you. Happy graduation, happy summer, and take care. Congratulations, 2020 graduates. Graduation at any point in your life is special and should be memorable. And there is no way that you're ever gonna forget the year 2020. There have been many challenges and obstacles that you've had to face both at school and in your community. But if there's anything that this year has taught you, it should be that you're braver than you believe, stronger than you seem, and smarter than you think. So believe in yourself and know that there's something deep inside of you that is greater than any obstacle that you're ever gonna face. Look out high school, college, and life. Here they come. You've got this. Stay ready. Hello, class of 2020 from Holy Family School. Congratulations. You have made a small milestone. The next step is high school. Your first year will be challenging. But I have a few steps I also told my, stunt, my son that you should make to have you completion of the first year. The first part is preparation, preparing for every class. The second one is participation in every class. The third is consistency. You must keep up with your classwork in order to pass. The, the next thing is completion. After you complete your task there, you have made your accomplishment for the first year. So please stick to these tasks and you should not fail. Thank you and God bless you. Eighth grade, I can't believe that you're graduating. I'm so proud of each and every one of you and we'll be rooting for you. We're in your corner and uh, remember to come back and visit us and uh, good luck. Eighth graders, we are gonna truly miss you here at Holy Family. I'm going to miss hearing doctors scream down the hall or the visits to my office just to chat Please check in with us occasionally and let us know how you're doing. Each of you is amazing and your potential is limitless. Don't let anyone change you and stay rooted always in God. We're always going to be here from you. Once Holy Family, always Holy Family. Happy graduation. Hello, Holy Family Angels, class of 2020. This is Mrs. Spencer. I am just happy to be sending you this message. This means that you made it. Wow, I know you waited a long time, but you still have a long way to go. I wanna send you congratulations. We are so very proud of you. I want you to soar big in new heights. I want you to come back and be that go-getter that we instilled in you and help a friend, mentor another. Come back and serve as an alumni go out in the world and do awesome things. You are awesome. And I want you to remember that. Do not let anybody tell you otherwise. Again, I am so very proud of you. I watched each and every one of you grow and blossom and mature. And for that, I am so happy and so proud to know each and every one of you. Do great things and we can't wait to see what happens in your high school years. God bless you. Congratulations, eighth graders. You did it. And of course you did because you are go-getters. This academic year has truly
truly been like none other. Remember at the beginning of the year when our AC went out, you still came to school determined to succeed. Remember the lockdowns we had, you were still brave, you were empowered to change the community. And even now, in the middle of this pandemic, you are working hard at home behind your computers and doing what you need to do to succeed. Or even now with the riots, remember, you can change the world. I'm so glad to be able to celebrate you today. Don't forget what you've learned at Holy Family School. Don't forget about meditation. Don't forget about social emotional learning. Don't forget about love. Don't forget about having the attitude and mindset of a Christian. These values will take you high in your life. Once again, congratulations. Happy graduation day. Celebrate, turn up, have fun. Thank you and make us proud. See ya. Hey there, eighth graders. Congratulations. You guys are the class of 2020. You are now graduating from middle school and moving on to high school. I am completely happy for you all. Thank you for opening up your hearts to me and your home, Miss Holy Family. And being your math teacher the last year, you guys have taught me lots and lots and lots of things. Um, I'm going to miss all of our good conversations we had in class. I'm going to miss yelling at you guys and making sure that you all stay focused in just everything about you all. I'm sorry that the pandemic happened and we were only able to chat via Zoom calls, but those calls I'm going to cherish because you guys consistently made my heart smile every time I was able to see you all. Um, you guys are now going off to high school. You guys are just some of the brightest kids that I have able to get to know and just go on to high school and show those teachers exactly, exactly who you are. Show them that you are smart and you're educated and you are the best of the best. Um, continue to be great. I'm so proud of you all and I cannot wait to see the great things to come in the next four years of high school. Go there, be great. Have fun as well. The next four years are going to go by real fast. And the next thing you know it, you're going to be going into an adult life of college. So enjoy the next four years of high school. Make it your best. Be the great scholars that I know that you are. And just let your light shine bright. Love you guys. Be great. Holy family, eighth grade, 2020, what's good? Just wanted to wish all of our graduates an immense congratulations it's been an honor getting to know you getting to teach you and watching you mature this year i wish you nothing but the best but remember no matter how great or how hard life may be you just need to remember these words as they say on the first day of class every year to every student it is nice to be great but it is far greater to be nice remember that and you'll be successful whatever you do Eighth graders, congratulations. Miss White here. First of all, you made it. As much as I wish that I could hold on to each and every one of you guys, I know that you guys are more than ready to start this exciting next chapter of your lives. I don't think that I could put into words how much this year's eighth grade class means to me. When I first started at Holy Family last year, you guys were the fiery, energetic bunch of seventh graders who were really giving the eighth graders a run for their money, and me for that matter. And despite the hiccups that we endured along the way, you guys have always been so welcoming, and I truly love getting to know almost every single one of you on an individual level these last couple years. I thank you guys for always making me laugh with your goofy, troublesome humor, for teaching me the latest trends in TikTok and in music, and for always keeping me on my toes. I hope that in the future, you live a life that you truly love and that you find things that interest you and that you pursue them with all of the passion that you have. I hope that you surround yourself with people that you love, people who accept you for who you truly are and not the person they want you to be. And finally, I hope that you set and pursue your dreams and goals and that you let no one stand in your way of achieving them. 
That being said, I love you all and I cannot wish you enough success in high school and beyond. Congratulations, class of 2020. Hi, I want to start off by saying you did it. You have come to the end of a long journey, but of course, the beginning of a much bigger one filled with challenges and new life opportunities. Class of 2020, you are ready. You have been prepared to succeed in this new found world that we called life. I'm going to miss you on that third floor. I'm gonna miss your smiling faces. I'm gonna miss you running to my office saying, oh, Miss Kaya, can we talk, can we talk? I'm gonna miss you when you come by when you're in trouble. But guess what? We have prepared you to succeed. Your tool belt is full of things that you can pull out anytime you need. And don't forget us over at Holy Family. Please stop and see us and visit and tell us all about your high school experiences. So class, of 2020, congratulations. I'm gonna miss you. Love, Miss Collier. Hello, eighth graders. We miss you guys, we love you guys, and we are so very proud of you. We just wanted to say, congratulations, congratulations class of 2020. You, you did, did it. it. Hey, eighth graders. It's that time of the year, it's your graduation. It's here. It's time to wrap up our school year. We've had a wild end of the school year. I wanna tell you a couple things. You're gonna be missed here at Holy Family School. You've been leaders, you've been friends, and students and athletes and dancers and choir members, and you've contributed so much to this school, and we're gonna miss you. Um, I want you to remember a couple things in high school. Aim high, work hard, join clubs and activities and try new experiences. Go outside of your comfort zone a little bit. And also, come back here a lot. We miss you, you're part of our family. We want you to know that at Holy Family School, you're always welcome. Come back and say hi. Have a great day.